I'm pretty sure you clicked on this video because you're trying to go on the journey with me. You want your hair to grow. So if you want your hair to grow and you have naturally curly hair, back to my channel <laughs> I'm here because we are going to do a one year hair growth journey I'm gonna tell y'all what I'm gonna do as it goes I'm gonna tell y'all what I've been doing so I, I discuss it with you guys I'm going to go ahead and finish putting the rest of the locks into my hair but please don't think that I'm just blindly going into this no I actually saw the results and how when I left my hair alone for three months I actually had the best growth i really did it too because i wasn't going anywhere so another reason why i wanted to, to keep this up was because of discipline i'm looking at also learning patience because one thing about your hair you have to be patient with it also it'll give me more time to focus on my schoolwork. also considering i do when i do style my hair i really do leave it in for a long time really only if it's box braids but when it starts to look like really janky okay it's just time for it to come out what we like to do as a society we like to make everybody seem perfect the problem is a lot of people get bullied when they don't do their hair when their hair is not to part like somebody else how somebody else might want their hair to look like baby that's not your head how are you gonna tell somebody how they need to have their head you need to focus on your head but i'm just saying a lot of people get are so insecure high school makes you so insecure because you're looking at other people you compare yourself but it's not because you want to compare yourself it's because other people compare you to other people so it gets you thinking and yada yada then once you get it out and you look back and you're like bro really one of the major things that stems from that is the insecurity in your hair i had a boy come up to me and tell me this is a long time ago now he came up to me and told me your hair hasn't grown since last year or something like that and i just was listening to him i ain't say nothing because i was just like how you gonna tell me my hair ain't grow and i know my hair grew like that just really threw me off and it was actually one of my friends that told me friends at that time and i was just like my dress is a long time ago it's just stuck in my head because i realized that kids will be kids kids are the most judgmental people in the world and it's one of those things you have to just block out but the hair insecurity stems from being judged being looked at oh your hair don't look like so so or this that and the third yada 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 like girl do whatever you want to do okay and whatever your consequence is that's your consequence whether it's a good consequence or a bad consequence i'm just so glad i'm out of high school like Ugh, I just, ugh, it's just, ugh. Hi, guys. I had to come and tell you guys the thing that I do once a week. Actually, it's not once a week, but the least amount that you need to do it is once a week. I really just do it whenever I feel like I need to do it. But we're talking about oiling my scalp. So this is actually not wild growth oil, so I'm not even gonna like, try to show off the bottle. But this concoction that I made, it does have wild growth oil in it. So the concoction, it actually came from, y'all know when I did my hair and I was doing all of that stuff? It was in my week weekly vlog video that's what it was i will link the original video down below if y'all want to go make the concoction yourself i also link my video so y'all can go and watch the concoction for yourself when i tell y'all it actually has been growing my hair like when i tell y'all i realized you just need patience like you really need patience and the right product but the thing about the oils at least for me I've only put oils on my scalp. I don't like to put oil on my hair strands because I feel like that actually dries my hair out quicker. Also, we're going to be featuring a new tool and I'm actually going to do something new with you guys today too because it's new to me. It's going to be new to y'all. We got the shampoo brush. I don't really like to call it a shampoo brush. I like to call it a scalp massager because that's, that's technically what it is. It's a scalp massager. You guys, this is so cute. Upon opening it, it comes with this very cute gold scrunchie. And then, of course, you have the shampoo brush slash scalp massager itself. So, with the scalp massager, of course, or the shampoo brush, most people use it when they shampoo their hair because that's technically what you're supposed to use it for. But if this works and it doesn't tangle my hair, I'm probably just going to start using it while I oil my scalp. It is something that you're supposed to do for a good five to six minutes when you're shampooing your hair. I'm not going to sit up here and lie to you guys. I'm probably not going to sit every single time and just massage my scalp for no dang on five minutes so i'm pretty sure now y'all can clean this straight out the package if you want to i'm not gonna lie i trust the people it's very flexible i really like how it's not very bendy but it's not hard either i really like that if i could even get it on my scalp that felt good i ain't gonna lie i just did a little bit and that actually felt really good so i'm excited to use this on wash day let's get into 
this concoction. I try to go in with it once a week. I think I've been doing pretty good. If not once a week, I just kind of do it whenever I want to. For the best results, you can go in with it like every two to three days. But you don't need to go in with a lot. It's an oil, so it's already thick. The whole point of this is we're not trying to wash our hair once a week. So we're not trying to dress our hair. We're not trying to clog our pores. We just trying to make sure it's balanced. So to start off with this product, I just shake it up and then I literally put it into my hair, y'all. And then after I put it into my hair, I literally just run my fingers through it and massage it. Like that's all. I like to do this like during the daytime just because if you do it at nighttime, nine times out of ten, <laughs> the oil can get on your pillow and that's not nice. And again, don't be generous with it. I'm not generous with it. I literally just put it on my scalp. So then once I feel like I put enough, I go and massage my scalp. I look at my hands and if I feel like it's not enough oils, I put some oil on my hand, on my fingertips. But if it actually is enough, I don't worry about it. And then I put the excess oil on my edges. I've actually not been doing my edges lately, mainly because it goes with the look, the unfinished edges. But I do go in and rub the oil on my edges as well. But I don't directly apply the oil on my edges just because it'll break me out and it feels so good don't be heavy handed but just apply enough tension to where your blood is circulating because that's the whole point of this the whole point of this is to circulate your blood And yeah guys, so that's pretty much all I do. I try to do that once a week. That is definitely a part of this journey. Any leftover oils on my hair, I just massage them into my fingernails. <laughs> if it works for your hair, it's gonna work for your nails. I saw a video, it was like, try not try to do low manipulation on your edges. I don't know what happened over here, but like a huge chunk of my hair came out. So I literally been leaving my edges alone and not putting any product on my edges. Well, another thing that I need to learn to do is like leave my edges alone. We talk about my hair, but very leave your edges alone i'm only going to oil my scalp once a week you don't need a lot of oil remember that you guys so that's what i do once a week hey y'all so i am just coming to finish this video because i know this is going to be like this is going to be my video to like introduce y'all to my hair care and stuff like that my skin oh yeah we figured out my skin y'all see this i bet you it's gonna be gone by tomorrow night but yeah i just came to say that it has been one year i know y'all can't see my hair but i'm gonna show y'all like a picture i took a picture in the bathroom so mind my picture but that's my hair it's been one year since we first cut it and dyed it i do bleach my hair and then i go in with the adore ginger it works itself out you still have to make sure you take care of your hair i know what i'm doing it's not the bleach that damages your hair it's the over processing that damages your hair but yeah i just came over here to tell y'all we're gonna actually i'm gonna start the first challenge in this video oh did i tell y'all we're gonna be doing challenges y'all can leave y'all's challenge suggestions in the comment because i don't have a full list i just have like the starter list one of the first challenges that we're gonna do though is we're going to wash our hair once a month so what i'm gonna do the next time i come back we're going to wash my hair i want to make a disclaimer as well i am not the girl who washes their hair every day washes their hair once a week washes their hair two times a week washes their hair two times a month so therefore once every two weeks bi-weekly none of that none of that i am the girly who washes their hair once a month trials and tribulations you do what you need to do as a licensed cosmetologist and someone who's in people's hair for like a long time i found that for me washing my hair once a month has been the best thing that i have ever done but that also means leaving your hair alone so that doesn't mean messing with your hair no once you wash your hair that's the day to put the style in that you want and you're gonna leave it for a month. Now that's mainly when it's in styles, like braided styles or things like that, but I know I can do twists for a month or like do a braid out and put a wig on. That'll probably be another challenge, but when I have my natural hair out, then that's when I'll wash every two weeks. But if my hair is put like tucked away, it's gonna be tucked away for a month. That also means spraying with water. Things like, okay, yeah, I'm telling y'all all the stuff. Anyways, those are gonna be the different challenges as well. Just stay tuned for the different challenges that we're gonna do so you guys can see the results. Don't forget to drop the challenge, di drop different challenges that you want down below because they were one thing we're gonna do, two things for certain, we're gonna get this hair to grow. I don't even know if that makes sense. But yeah, so I'm gonna see y'all when I, I'm actually probably just gonna either see y'all in one month or see y'all when I get ready to wash my hair. Anyways, the point is, I'll see y'all later. <laughs>